A health alert this evening. We are now at the peak of the flu season and sadly, it has claimed the life of an 11 year old at Vanderburg Elementary School. The principal sending out a letter yesterday to parents and guardians about the student's death and 13 Action News reporter Cynthia Maldonado spoke to a medical expert on how you can detect the early signs of the flu. Cynthia? Cynthia? Nina, the doctor I spoke to says flu-like symptoms last up to two weeks, but if they don't start to resolve in a couple of days, that should be the first warning sign. Seth and his brother asked their dad if people can die from the flu. And I said, actually, I didn't know how to answer at first, and I said yes and no. The question sparked after they learned one of their classmates was sick. Dad's answer wasn't entirely wrong. It's possible for the flu to cause death. As a parent, I mean, you can only be worried about your own child. Um, you never think it's going to happen close to home or someone you've seen walking to school back and forth. Family medicine physician Dr. Dahlia Wax says it's more likely to die from a bacterial infection of the lungs or pneumonia. It prevents oxygen exchange, which is why pneumonia is so deadly. And it's the number one cause of flu-related death. Symptoms lasting longer than a few days are a big indicator it's more than a cold. Pain in the chest, unable to breathe, blue lips, children working to breathe, shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing up anything that's really productive, sometimes blood. And over-the-counter medication will always get rid of the infection. So over-the-counter medication helps in terms of cough and decongestants, etc. Parent or anyone who sees those symptoms aren't going away need to seek medical attention. To keep looking out for Dr. Wax also says there's a pneumonia vaccine. You do have to consult your doctor to see it's something that's right for you.